Hey everybody, welcome to my home. One thing I want to share with you guys today is one of my favorite 15 minute meals called the Tex-Mex Skillet. Um, you can find the healthier version in my nutrition book, um, but this is something that I like to do um, when you're short for time. So ideally, you know, you would want to dice your own tomatoes, dice your own chilies, but for me, I always like to have a good can, preferably or like an organic version of Rotel. So this is just diced tomatoes and green chilies. And also I like to keep uh, black beans in my pantry. So when I do have uh, limited time and in a pinch, I want to cook something fairly healthy, then that way I can throw these things together in a pretty quick uh, time frame. So what I'm going to do is uh, cook you guys the Tex-Mex skillet. Um, really all you're going to need is a half an onion, which I have here. And that's what we're going to start out with um, in the pan. Um, one of the better oils to cook in a medium heat is grapeseed oil. Um, you could also use coconut oil, another version, but sometimes it's a little sweeter. Some people don't like that. I'm just going to put really about two tablespoons in here. And then we're going to get our onions going. I'm cooking this over a medium, medium high heat. This uh, is grass-fed beef, two pounds. So we're gonna get this, we're gonna cook, I like to cook the meat with the onion, add some flavor. So now that I got the meat going, I'm going to go ahead and start adding some of my seasoning. And I'm going to start just with uh, some Himalayan salt. Again, all the seasoning can be just to your taste. Um, so I just like a couple big pinches of the Himalayan salt. This particular salt is not very salty, so you have to add a little more than your regular salt. The other thing I like to add in mine is just some organic garlic granules. chili powder. You're going to use more chili powder than probably any other seasoning that in cumin. Cumin. <clears throat> you can keep adding the seasonings to taste, so I just try not to over season it first. So our meat is pretty much brown, so at this point, all we're going to do is just add the diced tomatoes and uh, green chilies. And then we're going to do the black beans. did drain the black beans and rinse them out a few times. And that's it. So we'll let this just uh, warm up a little bit. Uh, we personally like to serve it over a bed of spinach leaves and or romaine lettuce. Um, with the meat on there, add some cheese and some organic full fat um, sour cream. You have an amazing meal in little time. Enjoy.